kids. Today on Tuna Zoo, we're on in our way the somewhere middle. fun. Mel and her braids. I like your braids. That's not how they're supposed to be played with. <laughs> Let's go pick blueberries. Come on. We're at Double C Bar Ranch, right? That's correct. I said that right? That's right. So tell us about your ranch. Oh my goodness, you really did that? That would make many pies. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out our other YouTube channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Go to behindthezoo.com and hit subscribe while you're there. Here we go. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Daddy, we're videoing you. Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> can, can I see it? I'm in the back seat with the kids. We're on You're our way somewhere middle. fun. You're in the middle level, in the middle of the middle. Grandma's here. Going somewhere fun. Where are we going? Blueberry picking! Blueberry picking! Yay! Okay, I said that. It's that time in Florida. Time for blueberry picking. Braids. I like your braids. All country, All country today. Hey, you want to check in with these people over here? Uh, yeah. I will. <laughs> Guys, that's not how they're supposed to be played with. You're supposed to, you're supposed to bounce on them. What, like this? Yes. <laughs> See? <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do, Logan. Katie's got a huge one. I go big. I go big. <laughs> I go big or go home. Become big or a bluebird. <laughs> I'm dumb. Oh, my legs. Oh, I need a bigger one. I love dumping. Like dumping and get back. It's too big. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Yo! Caleb, there Caleb goes. I get you! Guys, no! Okay, check out these That's blueberry it. fields. All the way down there. Not quite all the way. Some of those are either picked or not grown yet. And then all these beautiful rows of blueberries. All the way down. We're ready to pick some blueberries. Make some blueberry pie, blueberry waffles. Just eat straight up blueberries, they're delicious. Let's go pick blueberries, come on. Yay! Cool. One more? Oh, wow. Three more or you just- No, I'm, I'm the, video, I'm the okay, videographer for the day. So he said from that cone to that purple sign. From this cone- To that purple sign. To the purple sign down there is, what, is what's ready to no, uh, that's picking. the big. That's, those are the the the, Say the again? least purple. The least what? The least purple. And the wax on side. So, uh, he was telling me all sorts of information. So that's Very where smart. we want. That's where we yeah. want to pick. Right here. Okay. Do, um, can we find a row that nobody's on and then do that? Yeah. Look. Yeah. Oh, we almost got one. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just go here. Um, he said that the wax coating is God's way of protecting the blueberry. Oh. Okay. Kids, so did listen, you hear that? Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up, listen up, listen up. Directions. Pink, purple ones. Look. Or blue ones. Look. You see this kind? Blue. Blue. Look, Caleb. Blue. Logie Bo? Yep. Listen to instructions. That's too dark. Blue. Look. Blue. Let's see. Yes. Very good. Blue. That's a good one. Yeah, very good. Good. Purple. Look for completely purple ones. Is this good? That's all right. Yeah. Let's 
hook in your bucket. Hey, you're doing a pretty good job so far. Good job, man. Let's go down here with Timmy and Mommy and see how they're doing. Hey, girl, how you doing? Good. She looks so cute. You look very hot. It's like I'm back in Indiana. Like, not warm either. Do you know how many acres they have? Oh, I'm no sure joke. it's crazy. They have 4,000 acres here and 1,000 plus over there. Wow. That's amazing. You really, this doesn't do it justice. Nothing I do can do it justice. This would be one of those days I gotta have a drone, man. Yes. Oh. I want a drone so bad. This is the day for the drone. Oh, oh good job. There you go. Good job, Katie. Keep going. Fill that bucket up, girl. Fill it up. It's a beautiful day out. Yep. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just perfect. The sun's coming out. It's just cool enough in the air that you don't sweat. It's just perfect. Wow. Oh my goodness, you really did that. You really did that. Okay. I was gonna say, Timmy has more than anybody. Me too. You tired? Oh, poor kid. Hey, Gotta be careful out here. What you got? Whoa, good job. Great job, keep going. Okay, so I said I was gonna go find the owner. This is the guy. Uh, this is Jimmy Chapman. We're at Double C Bar Ranch, right? That's correct. I said that right? That's right. So tell us about your ranch. Uh, this ranch has been in our family now. I'm the one, two, three, third uh, generation. Uh, I have three sons and a daughter. They're all involved with the ranch. We're predominantly cattle. Uh, we raise cattle and we finish all the animals here. So we go from babies all the way to the table. We sell our beef to restaurants uh, okay. around the state and mainly in the central Florida area. How many acres of land? There's about 4,000 acres here and then we lease a couple thousand more. Wow. And so we're running a pretty, pretty good pretty size operation. operation for cattle. And uh, we've put in this blueberry farm two years ago. And uh, the idea of the blueberry farm is to diversify we commercial picked last year mm -hmm. and we said you know what this could be a fun family event mm -hmm. so we and decided it is. I to, can vouch for that <laughs> we decided to uh to do a you pick last year at the end of the commercial just to see mm -hmm. if uh, people would drive down here and they did and we put it on facebook and two days later we had the you pick and we had about 200 people show up well, that's awesome and i know i know my family's having fun and well, great. if you can see the atmosphere around here there's families everywhere out in the field just enjoying themselves Themselves. And the cool thing is I'm hearing strangers talking to each other. So oh, it's yes. actually a community event where people are getting to know each other right. coming out here. Well, and, and when they come back, we're cooking our ranch burgers. And so they'll have that. Yeah, we've I, got sm I smelt that when I was walking back. We've got a, a, a <laughs> playground so the kids can play and yep. the parents can sit on the picnic mm -hmm. tables and awesome. just enjoy themselves. And uh, Well, Jimmy, I appreciate you. All right, thank we're you. having a blast. If you see this and you live in the local area, come check out the Double C Bar Ranch. It's uh, south on Canoe Creek Road. It's what? South of St. Cloud. South of St. Cloud. It's like yes. not even 13 minutes outside of town. It was, right. a, it was a quick drive and a very peaceful drive. So right. check it out. So I'm coming to quickly realize that each person in our family has a different strategy. My strategy is to go look at bushes and do this. And whatever falls off is the ones that I pick because I'm assuming that the ones that are the ripest are the ones that are about to fall off. And has that been true? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Caleb likes to just pick every berry on every bush. Can I look at the bottom? Yeah, but then, okay, but then what happens when you, when what happens if ripe. it's a bad one? You're throwing them on the ground and then they can never convert to a, a good berry, right? We're out here to learn, so that's what we're learning for the day, is how to pick berries properly. Are you eating the berries? It's okay. He said you could pick it right off the bush and eat it right now. That's so, that's so safe. 
Yes, that's so safe. That's the way God intended. That's why people have been eating blueberries for thousands of years. Logan can't get enough. We want to make sure we pay for them though, so don't eat too many, okay? Mm, well, we, they got are a, good. we got a bucket over a bucket. Mm, my goodness. Full. They are as sweet as a grape. And that is not common for blueberries. When we picked blueberries out in Plant City, wow. What, five years ago? So even longer than that, six birthday, years ago? Six years ago, we picked blueberries in Plant City and they were bitter. When we made a blueberry pie, we had to add sugar. We had to add a sweetener because it was just so bitter. These, I pick one off the vine and or off the bush, man, and it's already sweet. I think they'd make such a good blueberry pie, no sweetener added, and that's a healthy, that's a healthy blueberry pie when you don't have to add sugar to it. That's the un, that's the unhealthy thing about picking up a pie off the shelf in like Publix is they're adding sugar to most of those pies and a lot of it. How many buckets do we want here? Because because we have more than one bucket full between all the kids. That's the beauty of what we're doing here. We're sending the kids and they're like an army and they come back with tons of them. I think it took Melanie and I like hours to get like one bucket by ourselves. It took a long time, right? Over an hour. It just took forever for her and I back when we did this because when we did it, uh, Caleb was a baby. So he was in a stroller as we were going through the, the farm. And by the way, the farm was maybe 1 20th the size of this place. It took us forever to fill up, up a, a bucket. And I'm not kidding, we might have two buckets already and we've been here 20 minutes. The kids are so, the kids are so fast. They are so fast and they keep coming back and they're competing with each other, which is great for us because right now they're, they're using it to our advantage and getting tons of blueberries and coming back and going, look at my bucket. Well, look at my bucket, dad, dad, look at mine. This has been an ongoing tradition. My grandma, when we were living in Indiana, blueberry picked with me, and so... A little emotional. A little emotional. <laughs> we picked apples and orchards and everything. You guys were always out every this time of year, every year, doing this stuff, right? Uh, in the fall, <laughs> picking apples. That is heavy. Here, guys, you can, I think you can see the silhouette on the bucket. This one's like almost halfway Caleb, full. Wanna empty your bucket? Wanna empty your bucket? No. Oh, because he's competing. Racing because he's competing. He needs to be able to say how many he has versus everyone else. My family never did this. We grew up. I mean, the home I lived in from the time I was four until the time um, I got married is 25 minutes from this ranch, I think. And we were here every year, 25 minutes away. And I don't know what we were doing instead of coming out here and doing this cool stuff. Probably buying frozen blueberries like, like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> And paying way too much and not getting a good product. And, not and my mother exercise. and my mother could cook. She could bake. I can't yeah, imagine the, the, the blueberry pies we would have eaten if we would have come to a place like this. So I hope you enjoyed that video with Jimmy. That was pretty cool. I figured, why not give you like a taste? Yeah, a taste of the farmer's perspective. The cattle operation is their actual operation, the main one. They're cooking up hot dogs and hamburgers. Burger. It smells so good. Wow, we have our first full bucket. Look at that guy. That is a bucket of blueberries right there. This is six pounds, so that's $30 of blueberries. And that would make many pies, many, many, many things. Huh? Oh, it's heavy, right? Okay, I'm gonna carry it. Oh, babe. Huh? How you like it? It's fun. I'm actually doing some of it. I figured I would record so you guys could see Mike doing it. So I get to be involved. I participated. Where's that other box? Right here. She's almost got a three quarters of a bucket already. Well, I, I just added mine, but she was most of it. She had, she probably had uh, two fifths of a bucket. Probably plenty. I don't like this. Wouldn't you say? A full yeah, bucket? Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Bucket and a half? It's like $45 in blueberries. Yes. I just said that. Like, I saw her getting teary eyed because you're here with my kids and grandma was. Indiana with me. Yeah. All the way through. But the varieties up there, they won't put fruit here. And these up there, it's more. And it's just, you can't, yeah. And the variables of the weather that you can't control. Yeah, my sister and I were. 
our plants, we can't grow them as big. And sometimes the 10.6 pounds of blueberries. That's fantastic. That was really quick. <laughs> it took no time at all. Okay, say that one more time. I think you all picked the most berries today. <laughs> That's what Job having a, well done. a large family does. Yes. <laughs> there are benefits. Thank you. <laughs> we got our berries. We got three stinking bags full of berries. That was awesome that we had the most of anyone today. <laughs> oh man, that's that's one place where having a big family comes in handy. Just send the kids out to go pick berries and they come back with 10 pounds for you. We and the kids had a ton of fun picking blueberries with grandma. Unfortunately, grandpa was sick, but maybe he can come next time. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll give it a like, leave a comment, share, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Much love from our family to yours. See you tomorrow.